WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, good afternoon, folks. This is Larry Pesavento with your mid-morning update here at TFNN. We'd like to tell you that the stock market is very strong. The Dow Jones up 300 points. S&P's up 57 handles. The NASDAQ is up 269 handles. And it looks like everything is looking good in Camelot. Give you your first indication Friday, folks, when we exploded in the last two hours of trading. And uh, that was an indication that we're probably going to go a lot higher. And if you look at Sunday night's action, it went absolutely sideways for eight hours, not being in a range of more than eight S&P points. And then when it broke out to the upside at 39.91, there was nobody selling in sight, especially this old cowboy. I didn't have any indication of going short the S&P or the Dow Jones today. The, S the Dow Jones made a beautiful 382 retracement uh, right before the big break uh, to the upside. It dropped $1,000, th uh, $1, 200 Dow points, stopped exactly at the 382. And I swear to you, in five minutes, it was making a new high and continued to go another 200 points higher. So these markets have some bullish indications here. So it's a little bit, uh, a little bit troubling if you get to the short side. You can't do that when markets are breaking out like this. Uh, when they act like they're bearish, you got to sell them. And if they're not acting bearish, either go long or don't stand in front of it because it's a freight train you don't want to get involved with. We'll be there when the top comes in or when the next correction's coming. We're going to try to be a buyer. That low that we had in the Dow Jones was a 382 off of the mid Sunday low. And uh, that was very quick, but it was in a heartbeat and a, or an eye flash <laughs> that you would have been able to get that if you'd have had that. Uh, we've got the grains under a great deal of pressure. Soybeans down 20 cents, wheat down 25, corn down 10. Uh, the metals are under pressure. We got silver down 60 cents. We got gold down a couple of bucks. And but platinum, the platinum is still up on the upside, and so is copper. Copper's up about uh, oh about a half a cent, which isn't too much. Uh, looking at this level. But as we speak here, we're almost ready to make a news ho new high here pretty soon here in the S&P. We got up to 40.51, which means we took out that high that we were looking at it. Remember at 40.30, we certainly took that out. And uh, the next level, of course, would be uh, quite a bit higher. But if this is an ABCD format, that we'd be looking at possibly uh, 4,200 to 4,400 in the S&P and still be bearish. <laughs> So let's see what happens here. Anyway, our guest today will be Mike Morris and More Analytic, and I think you'll have a lot of fun if you stay tuned for my 24-7 show trade. What you see will be up next. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and